All right, what is up, y'all? Uh, this is Eric <clears throat> with Expiring Music Writer YouTube channel. Uh, subscribe, like, share, comment, suggest, dislike. Hell, I don't care. <laughs> um, but th uh, this video that I'll be doing is gonna be my uh, uh, another dream big and walk by faith. And I have I've only done four of these since I've had the YouTube channel. I did a few more on my Facebook, um, but, and the reason why I don't do these near as often is because uh, it's hard to come up with subjects. And I don't wanna keep doing the same ones. Now, like, I do my Just Yakin' on my Facebook, too, and, uh, and I talk about a lot of diff the same things, just differently, like the songs I write, and, uh, what I'm reading, this and that, whatever. But with the but with this uh, segment I call Dream Big and Walk by Faith, I'm actually going to uh, put a group on Facebook, Eric Stone, A-I-R-R-I-C Stone. Um, so if you want to just join in or see what I'm up to, you can do that. If not, you know, take it or leave it. Um, but I, now I'm not a perfect Christian. I always start with that. Uh, I'm always drinking something when I do this. It loosens me up. I don't get that drunk, or you know, not really drunk at all, really. Uh, but tonight I'm drinking natural light. I know. Let me see if you can see it. No, barely. Um, sorry. Uh, and I always promote. With, Try to promote the bands I listen to. And tonight I got a koozie that uh, from Wim Clark Green. It says, uh, I'm sorry, I'm a little drunk. That's one of his songs. But anyways, the last one I did was, honestly, it was four months ago because I just looked it up. And I think it was, Do Y'all Believe in Angels? I think that's what it was. So Expire Music Writer, YouTube channel, look it up. If you're curious. If you're not curious, look it up too. Um, but this one is going to be titled, uh, Why Do We, or Most People, uh, Forget to Pray to Jesus, or not pr pray and praise Jesus, when we're when things are going good and smooth. Now, I don't know if that's how I'll title this video, but it's going to be on the lines. Uh, but... And I've asked myself this many, many times. You know, um, when a Christian, especially like me, that I don't go to church every Sunday. I need to, but I don't. Uh, life gets in the way, and I know that's not an excuse. But hell, I'm human, so, and I do cuz, so. Uh, I guess the real, what I call realistic Christian, I guess, because I can't stand these fake Christians that I don't do nothing wrong. Bull fucking shit. I'm sorry, but you know, you're just a hypocrite. And I mean, we're all hypocrites at one point or another. They're, I mean, it's just part of nature. You know, but anyways, that's not even where I'm going with this. But uh, I've noticed in the, you know, a few times, or my whole life, actually, 35 years I've been on this earth, uh, that, you know, when things are going real good in our lives, in my life, I forget to pray and praise you, Jesus. You know, because you should pray to him every day and praise him every day, you know. But it seems like we only do that during the bad times. And I might write a song about it. I'm a songwriter, too. And uh, I've written five or six gospel songs. One of them was called uh, Just Kneel and Pray. I, know, I can't remember what. I'd have to go back and look. I've written at least four gospel songs. Um, I'm right want... Nah, let's drink another beer. Take another drink of beer, Eric. But anyways, uh, I'm working on one called 33, and that's how old Jesus was when he died and was... Uh, resurrected on the cross 
Uh, I don't know how it's gonna go yet. Like I said, gospel songs are probably the hardest songs for me to write. Mainly because I don't know that much about the Bible and stuff like that. And, uh, but anyways, you know, like I said, when things are going bad and, you know, you're just having a shit day and you're like, God, you know, let me help me and let me get through this certain situation, whatever it may be. You know, but as soon as that situation turns around, you forget all about him, you know, or I do anyways. You know, he, like I put him on the back burner of my mind. And I'm like, I shouldn't be doing that. You know what I mean? For all the stuff he has done for us, God and Jesus. I mean, God uh, brought his only son, only begotten son, uh, you know, for all our sins. He died on the cross for all our sins and he died for the preacher as much as he died for the prisoner, the thief, the child molester, you know, the porn addict, whatever. You know, we're all the same. He don't see any difference in his eyes. And uh, that's just the way I believe, you know. Uh, I was raised Roman Catholic. Um, I'm, I'm just a Christian now, non-denominational. Non uh, I don't go to church every Sunday. I should. I'll go for a while, then I quit, then I'll go for a while, then I la slack off. Go for a while, then I slack off. And I don't know why, because I usually feel a lot better when I start going. Uh, but like I said, love sometimes gets, sometimes gets in the way. And that, and a lot of times I'm just lazy. I'll admit it. You know, not, I'm not a that big of a drinker. I couldn't even tell you the last time I actually got drunk. Um, but my biggest problem is I go to a lot of live, go watch a lot of live music and, uh, just get home at four o'clock in the morning and then you only got, you know, or about two o'clock, I should say. And then I don't go to bed till actually about four because it takes me forever to settle back down and, uh. And then you just just tired and just don't want to go, you know, which, and my deal is usually after every time I miss, I'm like, why can I not just go for one hour a week? That's all the, you know, the church services, you know, on average is an hour, you know. Uh, so, you know, and I forget to pray. I used to. And I'll go through spells, too, of praying to God and Jesus. And, you know, I won't talk to him for a long time, and I will. Uh, a lot of times I'll talk to him. Uh, and, you, you, and you don't have to go to church to talk to God. You can talk to him anywhere. Uh, my favorite place to talk to God is in my truck driving. Uh, thankfully, uh, he still lets me pay attention to the road. Uh, now, if I'm in real heavy traffic, I don't. But a little two-lane road, you know, where I live. Uh, but, I mean, and there was a lot of things that I didn't agree with the Catholic religion. And that's one reason I got out of uh, Don't really consider myself. I mean, I'll go, but, you know, I don't consider myself Catholic anymore. You know, one thing I don't believe in is uh that i don't believe you have to go to a priest that or that a priest can't uh forgive you of your sins to me the only person that can is jesus you know and and god you know and i mean yes he's high up there but to me that priest or that preacher or whatever it's just the same as you and me. He's got sins too. We all sin, you know. Uh, so that's just the way I look at it, you know. Uh, there's a. Uh, I don't believe in purgatory either, and I know I'm getting off subject, but that's what I do. Uh, uh, but Catholics, if you don't know, Catholics believe in this. It's not heaven, and it's not hell. Um, it's a place you go where Jesus thinks about 
where God thinks about and ponders whether he's going to send you up to heaven with him or cast you down into hell with Satan. And I'm just like, he knows, you know, uh, he knows, he knows, he knew you before you were even thought of, you know, and I'm like, he knows your fate, you know, and I honestly believe too that once you see heaven or whatever happens when you get to the pearly gates, you know, and you go to heaven, there's going to be people in heaven you thought you knew were going to be there that won't be there and people that you never thought didn't have a chance in hell, so to speak, of getting to heaven, you know, they'll be there, you know. And, you know, that's just the way I believe, you know. And I take all, you know, and another thing is, when I, and I don't know if it's for all Catholic churches, but where I grew up, um, is, you know, you didn't question nothing. And I'm just like, I can't do that. I'm sorry. I've got to question everything. You know, because I remember one time, what was it that I asked a question and our teacher got so mad at me. Oh, that's what it was. So he was talking about that the Catholics believe or read a Bible called the St. John's Bible. It's not the King James Version or the New Living Testament or the Concord or the Torah or whatever. It's called the St. John's Bible is what the version they read. And we were going through a deal one time or going like questionnaire and stuff at one of the Sunday school services. And I said, okay, well, let me ask you a question. And the guy goes, okay, you know. He goes, or I said, okay. I said, the, uh, the Bible, Holy Bible was written many, 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 many years ago. It was written in Latin. I think that's what the original uh, scripts were written in. Uh, I'm probably saying this wrong. Language, that's what I'm looking for. I don't know for sure. Uh, like I'm, I'm not that uh, knowledgeable on the Bible uh, because a lot of times I'll start to read the Bible. Like I got this question, and that question, that question, that question, and it's just a, a rabbit hole of questions. And I get frustrated. But anyways, uh, I asked our teacher. I said, "Hey, if the Holy Bible was written in Latin many, 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 many years ago." How do you know for certain that this Bible is the whole truth? As in, because he said every, because he said every other Bible version of the Bible, they take stuff out of it to satisfy them, you know. And I'm like, well, my deal is that was years ago. How do you know when the people that, uh, what do you call that? Uh, translated it from Latin to Greek to whatever, you know, that they didn't screw up, you know, or get one of them phrases wrong. And he goes, well, you just got to believe and don't ask, you know, or don't ask any questions. I'm like, I can't do that. I'm sorry, you know. And he got mad at me. Um, but like I said, I, I'm going back to, I'm going to go back and forth. But like I said, I just, like I said, I've always wondered why we forget to praise Jesus and pray to him when we're doing good. Like you said, like I said before, when everything's going wrong and, you know, just can't get a job or can't do this or can't do that or this is not going right, we can't pay our bills and, or whatever's going on. Like, God, just let me pay these bills, or God. And then say you get some money coming in, or you get that job, or you do this, or you, whatever, it comes true. We forget to thank him, you know, and praise him, and we should every damn day, you know. Um, so, I don't know. That's just my thoughts on it. I'd like to know your thoughts, you know. Um, and don't question, or I mean, question everything, and don't 
take anything at face value. Also in the Bible, it says, look out for false prophets. So, because I know, I wouldn't say a lot of the television, television angelists, but a lot, some of them, you know, are just out for your money. And I'm saying all of them are the only one that I know that isn't, that I've never heard anything bad about is uh, Billy Graham. You know, of course, oh, I can't think of what his name was. He was kin to Mickey Gilly and uh, Jerry, was it Jerry Lee Lewis? Not the guy, but the preacher. I can't think of what the preacher's name. I can't think of what it is. Anyways, but you know, he was real bad on harping on, or not really harping, but preaching on don't get caught around with hookers and don't do um, adultery and don't have sex with anybody except for your husband or wife. And then he ends up getting caught with a hooker. You know? I'm just like, really? You know? Uh, and then that, or, you know, people like, uh, you know, oh, uh, I can't think the guy that killed every, like, 900 people with the tainted Kool-Aid. I can't think of what his name was. Uh, I should have looked up before. Well, I didn't think I'd be talking about this. But anyways, it says, you know, look out for false prophets and, you know, do your research, you know, because, you know, and another thing that, I mean, like I said, is, uh, you know, when things don't work out, you know, you're going to get disappointed. But have it in the back of your mind because I try to do this and I feel a lot more at ease is, well, it didn't work out, so God didn't want it to work out, so it probably wasn't the right thing for me. You know, when things don't work out, you know, like Garth Brooks had that song, Thank God for Unanswered Prayers, you know, and that's come true in many, many times in my life. You know, I was like, man, I wish this, you know, I'll tell you a few. One, I had a, wanted to go down, was it Arizona? Or New Mexico, somewhere out west, and work on Harley Harley Davidson motorcycles for a living. And that's what I wanted at the time. And I brought the guy over and it just didn't work out. And I was pissed at first. And I was like, well, you know, and years later, I mean, many, many years later, cause I was like 16 at the time. I was like, you know, I'm glad that didn't work out. Thank you, God. You know, and because it just, it wasn't gonna work out, you know, and I, uh, you know, there was a girl that I went to school with and I really wanted us to be, go out and get married. You know, of course she never did go out with me. And, but looking what our different ways that we both went, it just wouldn't have worked out. And I thank God for that too, you know. Thank God it didn't happen, you know. Uh, and just different things, you know. And I honestly believe, too, that things happen for a reason. We may not ever know the reason, because sometimes I think God just don't, doesn't want us to know. Or you find out years later, you know, that was didn't happen for that certain reason, you know. And, you know, because I wound up in a middle hospital. And, uh, and then it ended up where... Cause I've been wanting to write songs for a living, and I, I've been trying. I, I was 29 at the time, and I uh, been trying to write songs off and on for about since I was 15. So you know, 15 years, I guess. You know, and I had a buddy of mine like Doogie, cause well, he's not a buddy anymore, but. Uh, but a guy that I worked with was saying, hey, you need to write songs. That's all you think about. I was like, dude, I've tried a hundred times. You know, I cannot write a song. It's just not meant to be, you know. And then I wound up in the nut house for suicidal thoughts and, uh, and call, if you have suicidal thoughts or anything, call the national hotline. I'll put the number down in this video um 
because I didn't know what I wanted to do and I hated where I worked. And then I seen, at first I seen this Steve Harvey jump video. If you haven't seen it, check it out. You know, cause if you're getting up every day and you hate your fucking job, you're not living, man. Uh, do something you want. And that's another thing. Uh, I was listening to Joe Rogan. I love Joe Rogan. The main thing I like about him is that he's down the middle like me. Uh, he's not, I mean, he's more conservative, but like he gets both points of view. And uh, um, he was talking about, I can't remember who the guest was, that uh, he said, the problem with today's society is that 95 or 90 percent, whatever, of people get stuck in a job that's fi financially good, but they hate it. They try to put a square peg in a in a round hole, and you got these other sides filling up, or that is not filling up. And what he means by that is, you know, okay, I can pay my bills every month. You know, we're getting by, we've got a vehicle, nice house, kids got pretty decent clothes, there's food on the table, but I'm not living the way I want to, you know, and I'm not striving to become what I could be. And that's, to me, another reason why I titled this Dream Big and Walk by Faith is because, you know, if you want to do something, do it. Fuck everybody else. I know this is a Christian thing, but I cuss a little bit. And uh, like I said, fuck everyone. Fuck them all. Fuck them and feed them fish heads. Uh, my deal is, you know, ever since I started writing songs and going for what I wanted to do, I've had a lot better life. I'm not saying it's going to be easy every day. That ain't. I'm not saying that at all. Because you're still going to have bad times. You know what I still do every now and then? You know, you just don't know when you're going to. You'll be up, up on a hill, and then you're going to be put in a damn valley again. You know, you just got to make your way out, you know. And, uh, but, you know, Steve Harvey, you know, he wanted to be a comedian. And he went broke three times, and everybody in his family said, you'll never make it, and look at him now. You know, and, but, the, anyways, back to the Rogan thing, I have a point. It was whoever the guest was. I can't remember what the guest was, who the guest was. But he said the bad part is he wished schools would have. You know, you got to learn like your rhythmic, reading, rhythmic, and writing. You know, you got to learn all that. Because you got to learn how to spell. You got to learn how to do math. And you got to learn how to read to make it in this world. But he said after that, kids should be given a choice to do whatever the, uh, floats their boat. And what I mean by that is, you know, not everybody's gonna be a football star and make it to the NFL. Not everybody's gonna be a teacher. Not everybody's gonna be able to read the best. Not everybody's gonna be able to, it's not gonna be cut out to work a nine to five job, you know, where you get up nine to five every day, you know. And he said, what they need to do is have subjects in, like if you're into art, you go, you know, cause artists are, you know, there are some things you gotta have. A degree, I mean like, you know, a teacher, you have to have a math, a college degree in a math te to be a teacher, and a surgeon, doctor, nurse, you know, engineer, stuff like that, but, or not religion, but uh, education is not in the Bible. You do not have to have education to succeed. Uh, it's good if you do, but you don't have to. All you do is have to have faith and believe. I mean, but like I said, if you want to be a doctor, you have to go to school. But not some people are not going to be meant to be a nine-to-five worker, you know, some people like to work with their hands and work on cars all day long. You don't need to go to, to a four-year school for that. You need to go to a, uh, oh, what's, whatever, I can't think of it. 
uh, like a vote tech or whatever. And you know, the funny thing is, what would piss me off the most when I was in high school is, you know, is that they would harp on that, but they wouldn't tell you the stuff you needed a, uh, I don't remember what it, uh, not a certificate, but whatever, to go for a certain thing. And what makes me mad too, sorry, my uh, arm's itching, but what makes me mad too is that the four or five career paths that people can go through that they just, like, just down, frown upon or the ones that make the best money, you know, and make a damn good living. Heat and air, they make damn good money. The electrician, a plumber. I mean, no one wants tra uh, trash can people or people that pick up trash. They make damn good money, you know, but, you know, like I said, uh, I wish I could think of it. Anyways, but like I said, going back to what I was talking about, you know, you know, try to pray and praise God through the good times, you know, and I don't do it near as often as I should. I mean, way near as often as I should, you know, uh, and usually with me, I'll go through like a, the same damn pattern is when things start going really good, I start stop going to church regularly. Then once I stop going to church regularly, I stop praying and st stop praising God. Then everything just goes to hell in a handbasket. And then it, you know, it takes me forever to get back to going to church. You know, thinking that's what it is. And it, I, and I blame it on everything else except for, you know, going to church, you're talking to God, you know. So praise God through the bad and the good, especially the good. Uh, cause you know, you got one lot to live and he did not want us to be depressed all the time and blue and sad and, you know, just keep praying to God. And if you have a dream, forget everybody else and go for it. And I'll see y'all later.